Hello everyone, welcome back to V2E Sikshana program. Myself, Professor Nitin Kumar. So in this particular video of mobile application development, I will be demonstrating how to pass the data between activities. Passing data between activities. What does this passing data between activities mean? So please remember one thing, you can pass the data between the activities of the same application. For example, in my WhatsApp, I am going to access the camera application. That doesn't mean that I can pass the data from WhatsApp to camera. So you can get the data from camera application to WhatsApp. Client to servers, from server you can get the information by where the destination will application will act as a server. So the requesting application will act as a service client. So similarly here, so I'm not going to work with the multimedia application. My simple task with respect to the application that I'm going to demonstrate here is, so from one activity within the same application, we will have two activities like this. Activity number one, activity number two. We will be having two activities like this. So whatever the data that is there in the first one should be transferred to the second one. How to pass this? The one wonderful solution for this one is explicit intents. The one wonderful solution for this passing the data between activities is explicit intents. How the data will be passed? What is explicit intents? So as I explained in the previous videos, the intents means user intentions. If I want to change from this activity to this activity, that's my user intention, which can be achieved by intents. So there are two types of intents. One is explicit, other one is implicit. Explicit means if you are traversing from one activity to another activity in an application, such kind of intent is called explicit intent. Implicit in the sense you are there in the same activity and you will be having a button here. Maps. So if you click on this button, the Google Maps will open. Just observe, I am not changing the activity. The activity is remaining the same. Just I am going to change what? The application. I am transiting from this to Google Maps and I will come back to the same activity. This kind of intents is called what? Implicit intents. So here I am going to pass the data using explicit intents. How the explicit intents works? The syntax is very simple. The, it's somewhat similar to the object creation. Uh, intent reference is equal to new intent and you have to refer the class name for which you are going to traverse. So I'm going to give the title like this. This is the first activity. This is my second activity where I'm going to ask the user to enter the data and I'm going to use a button pass. In the second activity, this is my second activity, I'm going to display the text data which is present here when the user clicks on this pass. That's what I'm going to demonstrate in this particular application where I'm going to make use of explicit intents along with the transfer of control from one activity to another activity. I'm going to pass the data along with it by using this edit text and this text view I'm going to display it. For this I'm going to use two use string methods. One is put extra. This is a method which I'm going to use along with the traversal from one activity to another activity, I'm going to pass this data using this put extra method. So, and how I'm going to display the data here, I'm going to use the next vice versa that is get extra. Here, and I'm going to get the data which is transferred from the first activity and I'm going to display it in the second activity. This is the context that I'm going to, the application, this is the context behind the application that I'm going to develop. So this is the design. So where we need two activities in my application development and 
text view two text views to display the titles one is first activity another one is second activity next one edit text to read the data that you want to transfer and one button so once a user clicks on this button along with the transfer of control the data entered by the user should be transferred to the text view one additional text view in the second activity to display result to display the transferred data so this kind of, this is a very simple example to pass the data between two activities using explicit intents so along with the explicit intents you are not only transferring the control you are going to transfer the string or the text associated with the first activity to the second activity using put extra hand get extra this is my design and this is my requirement let's start the demonstration hello learners in this example i am going to demonstrate so how to pass the data or results from one activity to another activity as you all know that so mobile application will be composed of n number of activities so in so many circumstances so we have to pass the data present in one activity to another activity for that we are going to make use of intents as you all know that intents are nothing but user intentions so especially this kind of data passage or the result passage is generally used in implicit intents so where you are not going to traverse from one activity one application to another application so you're going to traverse between two activities this kind of data passage will happen so that i'm going to demonstrate by using a simple example of passing a username from one activity to another activity by creating two activities by name first activity and second activity so let's start this application development so that I will be opening the Android Studio. So by creating a new project, I'm going to demonstrate this particular example. So how to pass the data between the two activities which are there in the same application. So I'm going to create a new project. So by selecting the empty activity, so application name is passing data from one activity to another activity. So I'm going to, whenever you create a new project, automatically it will create a one application, one activity by name, main activity. So in every individual application or the project that you are going to create, so one activity should be there mandatorily from which the execution is going to start. Similarly, how we use main function in C programming or public static void mean in Java programming. So just you may observe your so here we have a main activity from here the execution will start. So I'm going to use this activity as a first activity. So I'm going to transfer the data which is there in this activity to the next one which I'm going to create. So my application is ready. So, so I have only one activity just you, the, you can observe here. I have one activity by name uh, main activity and its corresponding design file is present here. So firstly I'm going to rename this particular text file which is there so I'm going to add the text here and I'm going to rename it as first activity first activity and I'm going to increase the font size and I'm going to increase the size of this particular text view that is first activity by searching in the attributes so I'm going to increase the font size. So this is my first activity. So even you may refer it as main activity, which will be automatically created whenever the project is launched. So in this first activity, I'm going to use an edit text where I'm going to enter the username. I'm going to use the edit text. It's nothing but a plain text that we are going to refer in the design part. So and I'm going to hint. Okay. So then I'm going to place, as I'm using the constraint layout, I'm going to set the cursors towards all four sides so that it will be fixed. Done. And I'm going to add a button. So whenever the user clicks on this button, the data present in this activity should be transferred to the next one.
and I'm now I'm, I'm going to rename this I'm going to code so where you might observe the text that is present here the name that will be the attribute which made null and I'm going to add additional attribute int enter the data to be passed enter the data to be passed and I know I'm going to rename this button so passing data clear so next I'm going to create another one activity so that uh, we can observe the transfer of data from one activity to another one so whenever you want to create a new activity so inside the java folder you will be having the activity file click on that activity right click on that activity you can observe the new option so inside that new option you have an activity option there so where you have to select the empty activity so i will give the name of this empty activity as second activity and you have an option to select the launcher activity option here if you select this launcher even you can execute this particular application from the second activity if you don't want to execution should begin from the second activity if you want to restrict the execution to happen from the main activity there is no need of selecting this one finish this leads to creation of two activities so once again the project executes and the gradle synchronization will happen so just you may observe here so we have now two activities here so now we will design the components which are required for the second activity so that we will see the we will see the past data here so just i will go to the second activity i'm going to add only one component there that is one simple text view text view just i'm going to add the text view here And I'm going to rename it to parser data. And I'm going to increase the font size so that the past data will be visible in our output screen. So next, so as I mentioned in the previous examples, you must record the IDs which are reused in our program. So I'm going to use with respect to the first one, first activity design file, it's nothing but main. So I'm going to use this edit text. I'm going to rename its ID. From here onwards, I'm going to refer it as edit text. And second one, we are going to use this text view where the passive data results will be present. I'm going to refer it as text view. Just observe that ID of this text view is just text view. Okay. So that, how this particular application is going to work, it's very simple one. I'm going to enter the details or the name of a student or anything that I want to pass to the next activity. Once I click on this particular button, the data will appear in this second activity text view. That's the overall context, how to pass data from one activity to another activity by using intents. So let's start the coding with respect to the first activity. This is the first activity, it's nothing but main activity. Firstly, I'm going to define the edit text which I am going to use to enter the name. So I will declare it as a user global one edit text and user name. The reference that I am going to use is user name. So next I am going to refer, I, I want to, I need to identify that what is that user name. It's nothing but edit text which can be identified by using the ID. U name is equal to find view by id so I'm, we have to give that id which we have noted down in the previous step that is edit text done we are done with the identification u name means it's nothing but edit text which is having which is there in the, our design with the id edit text so next i'm going to write a method here that method will be followed that method will be used and the for the passing the data from this activity to second activity. Inside this method, I'm going to write the logic which is required to pass data from first activity to the second activity. Public void, 
I'm going to give the name as first. The user defined method name is first. So as I mentioned in the previous examples, so you have to provide the view. Firstly, I will declare a string. So why because whatever the user enters that should be stored in the form of string. Why because the user is going to enter in the edit text. So the text that is present in the edit text should be converted to string and it should be stored in the given reference string user name is equal to so this edit text you name dot get text and convert it to string so next i will call the intents the intent that i am going to use here is the traversal between two different activities this kind of intent is called explicit intent Implicit means if the traversal is happening between the two applications. Why? Because you are not changing the activity. You will stay, remain the same activity, just the application or the uh, feature of that particular application will be used. For example, in WhatsApp, we are going to stay in the WhatsApp and we are going to click on camera icon by presenting in the WhatsApp. We are going to use the feature of camera application. That kind of intent is called implicit intent if the activity change has not been happened. If the change in activity has happened means that kind of intents is called explicit intents. Here we are going to work with explicit intents. So I'm going to declare that explicit intent intent i is equal to new intent. So as we are working with only one intent, we have to use the context as get application context. If there are multiple intents are there, you can make use of this keyword to remove the ambiguity. Get application context and we have to traverse towards which activity? Just observe, what's the name present here? Second activity dot Java, that activity dot class should be provided. That name should be passed as a parameter. So once after passing, once after declaring the intent, so you have to along with the traversal of control from one activity to another activity, I need to pass the data. For that, I will use a inbuilt method put extra. I dot that's the reference we are using for the intent i dot put extra the values are the string names are the data that you want to pass put extra so what we are passing here so that should be given the name entered data or entered name so that is there in the user name means which we have stored in the form of string Finally, we have to start the activity. As I mentioned earlier, for any intent application, the start activity is mandatory and you have to pass the reference of intent. Clear? Yeah. Just we are reading the user name that is entered in the edit text and we are creating intent to traverse from first activity to second activity. Along with the traversal, we are passing the data that should be transferred to the second activity and we are starting that activity. And this method should be placed inside the pass data button that we have used in our design. So just I'm going to place this method. So this is the button name. I am going to use on click method and I'm going to place that method that is first. Just you can observe the method name is first. So we are done with the coding, the things which is required for the first activity. So just we have, uh, firstly we have designed and we have written the logic to transfer the control as well as data that is there in the first activity and we have placed it in the design file using on click attribute of that particular button that we have used in our design. So next we will go with the second activity where the data that has passed from the first activity should be displayed. So firstly we will identify the text view that is going to give the result. This is the text view that is going to give the result. Firstly note down the ID, the ID of this text view is text view. So go with this and identify that particular text view in your Java part of second activity. Text view, I'm going to give the reference as txt is equal to find view by id or dot id dot text view. This is the id that we have noted. Down. So we are done with the identification of this particular text view which is used in the second activity so once after that so we have to store the we have to retrieve the data that has been passed from the first activity for that i am going to declare a string string 
user name you can give the same name why because it there will be no ambiguity between the variables why because we are the user name that we are declaring here it is in the second activity the user name that we have declared previously which was there in the first activity you can use the same variable name if they are present in two different activities so get intent get intent along with that we have used the method that is put extra so here we need to get the string that is passed from the previous activity that's why we will call get string extra and we have to use the same name which we have passed along with the put extra that is entered name you have to pass the same name entered name within the double quotes finally we have to set the set text view result to the new text why because what's the text view result that is there here just if you look into the design we have text view result as pass data so this should be changed to the data that we are passing from the, the name or the details that the user is going to enter in the first activity so instead of pass data it should become the data that has been entered from the user in the first activity so that's what we are going to place in the last line that is text txt means the reference that we have used while identifying the text views txt dot set text and we have to pass the detail this user name. that's it just we have identified the text view and we have recorded the data that is passed from that particular previous activity first activity and we are setting the text view that is there in the second activity to that string name which is we have received from the first one so it's a very simple application to demonstrate how the data has been passed from one activity to another activity just observe i have given a title as first activity and i am reading the data that a user is in user is passing from first activity to another activity using this edit text and we have a button so once after entering the user details this press button will be clicked by that user once the user clicks this particular button we have a code written in the java part of that particular main activity so where we are declaring the edit text and we are identifying it using the id then what the user has entered in the edit text will be stored in the form of username reference in the form of string then we are invoking a intent which is a explicit intent why because the data will be transferred from one activity to another activity along with the control transfer we are transferring the user name entered by the user by using a method put extra then we are starting this activity once after that this method name will be placed inside that particular button of first activity using on click attribute once after that in second activity we have only one component that is text view which will be set based on the user entered details in the previous intent previous activity what user has entered the data will appear in this text view so we have identified this text view id that is text view just text view so in second activity we will place only three lines of code to retrieve the text and we are, and we are going to place it in the text view firstly we are identifying the text view which is placed in the design part of second activity then we are along with that intent by using a get string extra method we are uh, recording that uh, data that is entered by the user in the form of user name then we are setting the text view to the data that we have obtained from the first activity so this completes this simply demonstrates how the data has been passed between the first activity and the second activity the user is going to enter the name and and he will click on the pass data then that particular data will appear in the text view that is there in the second activity we have to rename those dependencies how we have did in the previous examples 
so otherwise it will show dependency error Just I am reducing this to 1.4.1, just down getting this one 1.6.0. After that, I am going to synchronize this. So, once after that, I am going to execute this. So, the execution will begin from the first activity I'm going to execute this. So this is a very simple way of passing the data from one activity to another activity just by using two simple methods that we are going to use on strings. One is put extra to pass the data from one activity to another activity. Another one is get extra to get the data that has been passed from the previous activity. So for this kind of passing data from one activity to another activity, we will make use of explicit intents. Why? Because the data passage passing is happening between two different activities which are there in the main activities. You might observe we have two activities, main activity and second activity. From the main activity, we are passing the data to the second activity. So we are entering the name and details in the main activity and once you click on the pass button, the data will appear in the second activity. This simple example demonstrates how the data has been passed from one to another. Waiting for all target devices to come online. So once the device come online, so you can observe the output. So with respect to intents, I have discussed in my previous video, so what is explicit intents, what is implicit intents and how to use them. So now my application is almost ready to see the output. So the application is getting installed. Once it, is gets, once it gets installed, we can observe the output. So whatever we have designed and whatever we have programmed, same thing is up will applicable here. So just observe this is my output screen I'm going to enter the data that we need to pass to the next one that I'm going to use my name that is Nitin Kumar from Vidyavardhaka College of Engineering. So once I click on this pass data along with the control this detail that I have entered should appear in my second activity. This is how we are going to pass the data by using the put extra so the second activity will receive the data by using a method get text. Just observe. It has appeared in the second activity. You can observe your Nitin Kumar VVC from Vidyavarta College of Engineering. This is a simple example to demonstrate how the data has been passed from one activity to another activity. Thank you.